I was born in Nashville, Tennessee. There's one thing Nashville's known for, it's for being Music City, USA. From the day I was born, I was surrounded by music. A few years later, my family and I moved to Denton, Texas. Denton was a much smaller, noticeably different place to live. One thing stayed the same, music. Music was everywhere. Everywhere you go in the city, it's full of music. From local bands, performers, live music, drum lines, jazz bands, and musical events. This town is a musician's utopia. But why? Why is Denton such a musical city? That's why I wanted to find out. To find the answers I needed, I would have to speak to some higher-ups and well-known Dentonites. And my mom informed me that she knew a previous professor at the University of North Texas and someone who was part of the Denton City Council. After school, I swung by the place for an interview. Uh, so first off, my main question is, why do you think Denton is such a musical community? Oh, that's a pretty long question. <laughs> but basically, it's because of the uh, UNP School of Music, College of Music it is now, it was the School of Music then, created a jazz program. No other school anywhere had a jazz program at the time. And for a number of years, uh, it made the North Texas uh, music program sort of a, a butt of jokes. Oh, that's the school that teaches them to play jazz. But that was before it became world famous, and then other schools began to emulate. The reason Texas has such a strong music uh, reputation is because of football, because football demands a band. Now that guy, the professor that left UNT and went up to Indiana, then he made that program. That was Wilford Bain, who came to North Texas, built the foundation for this college of music, went to Indiana, built that one, and they were number one and two. And they still stand. It's and still they still stand. are. No. So from what Dr. Ayer told me, a man named Wilfred Bain had started the music program in both Indiana and the University of North Texas, which both became the most successful in the country. In addition, Dr. Ayer also informed me how football demands a band, and everyone knows how big Texas is on football. With all those football teams, there's got to be a lot of bands. Therefore, more musicians. Dr. Ayer gave some interesting insight, but I wanted to see what the younger generation and newer Dentonites thought. I headed to the Denton Square, which is the center of the city and a popular hangout for musicians. There I'd stop at the Ghost Note, a drum shop that recently opened up to get their viewpoint. All right, so first off, why do you guys think Denton is such a musical city? Well, I think it has to do with the school, partially. I think that it brings a lot of musicians that wouldn't be here otherwise. Drum lines. They do, yeah, they have one of the best drum lines. I would say more than that, I think it's the jazz, jazz department. Because oh, you have yeah. people coming from South Korea, Europe, Spain, a lot of people from all It's a very prestigious, well-regarded school. The first school in, in the world that offered a jazz studies degree. Yep. Mm -hmm. So That's it's sure. still got people coming over, and you know, there's so many good, you know, rock bands, whatever bands that have, that have come out of here. You know, Brave Combo, they've been doing it forever. Uh, Snarky Puppy, Snarky Puppy, another band. There's 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 tons of them that have been doing it for a long time. But, you know, it's just a very very rich musical. How do you think um, living in Denton affected you guys? Well, you're uh, not sure Denton. I, I am. I was born in Denton. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's, I don't know anything else. You know, it's, 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 I've definitely always been around music my entire life. And it's helpful just to be, because you, I know for me, going to school at UNT, you learn the most from everyone around you. You learn from the faculty, but I think even being in the town, just meeting players, they sit down and play and you see them do something. Or you see a bass player do something and you know, it inspires you to do something yourself. So I think there's a lot to do with just being around people constantly. It's like everywhere you go, there are musicians. Is that why you decided like... to set up the shop here? Was that why? You think it's because Denton's so musical? There's a lot yeah. of reasons. Uh, that's obviously big number one you know, reason. Uh, also, we're doing such a specialty niche thing and uh, there's no town more responsive to small business niche business in the day. And it's just the perfect storm of everything. And this is the perfect place for us to be. Yeah. Cool. Uh, got anything else you want to say? 
No, I don't. Buy our what? drums. Yeah, right. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Tim and Colby gave some great info. While I was at the square, though, I thought I'd check out Banter, it's a local music bar. It's another hot spot for musicians around town and people who want to be heard. Thursdays are open mic night, meaning anyone can go up and perform. Hundreds of people flock here on Thursdays to see some great local musicians play. Brave Combo, Sarah Jaffe, and many other famous Dentonites have played at this venue. So I thought I'd ask some of the people there what they thought about Denton music. Why do you think Denton's such a musical city? Why? Um, I don't know, it's in location probably. I don't know, but it is. Best uh, school of music in the country here. It's kind of like Austin, you could say. Do you think that living in Denton has inspired your music at all? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You think that makes you come down here? Is for the music? Absolutely. Yeah. I think it makes people say that Denton's a real cool city. <laughs> to confirm what I've heard, I went to someone I consider an expert on Denton music. During a recent trip to Chicago with the Denton High School Jazz Band, I took the opportunity to interview Mr. Jesse Woolery, who directs the jazz program at Denton High School and Texas Women's University, among his other many musical endeavors. So why do you think Denton's such a musical city? I ask myself that a lot, because it'd be so cool to recreate this in many other places. Um, the elements of Denton just kind of come together. I think part of it is just because it was this great music school in the town. And there were a lot of people drawn to it, and then just possibly from other people coming in from, from the city, from all over the place, and a lot of people associated with it, it became a, a point where people started to you know, have a creative spark and do something cool, and then from there, like, things start sprouting up and growing up there, you know, we have these music festivals, we have these jazz festivals, we have all these things, and, and we can support these festivals, and many of the towns don't even have the resources or the idea or the drive to even do such things like that, and so, like, the ball, the ball is rolling, it's going, you know, the snowball is just gaining strength, it's everything that we do with every festival that we do, even now branching into, um, the film festivals with the thin line. I mean, it's just, things are just blowing up in Denton. Music was the first reason I came to Denton. I knew about University of Texas my, all my life. I could not do other places. Probably 95% of other places I couldn't do anything with what I'm doing that I'm able to do in Denton. You know, when it comes to like concert series and when it comes to um, bringing guest artists in and having people come over and work with the band. I mean, well, I, you know, like, Posters, what's crazy about it for me is like it's the norm for me to put Grammy winning blah blah blah, we're performing with them, or Grammy nominated blah blah blah, we're performing with them. There's different people every time, and suddenly, like to me, Grammy almost seems like I know it's gonna sound weird, but it's like, oh, everyone's Grammy nominated, everyone's everyone I work with is like that, and there just happens to be a lot of people who live in Denton that have Grammys and played on Grammy nominated recordings. I think it's freaking awesome. You and team sprouting off a lot of kind of famous guys and would go off and be really reputable in their own world. Like Tom Bones Malone, Lulu Marini going to New York City and doing all sorts of stuff and Bones being the Blues Brothers band and then now with Letterman for many years and kind of in that whole thing and Lulu the same the same ilk. Uh, you had the Eagles, you had um, Roy Orbison, they all kind of came through then at one point and um, but then, then then we're starting to sprout up these other up and comers and I think Brave Combo was one of the biggest pioneers of, of that and, and just kind of like injecting something that's awesome this nuclear polka music fusion stuff that that no one's doing that music that's that exciting and they're doing it and it's given a lot of other groups courage to do it there's just so many other groups that are like popping up from there I mean Literally, 100, 100 acts. I could sit there and I could go, okay, I need 100 bands, and then put 100 bands together just like that. There are so many musicians that can just, they can make they can make it, make a name for themselves, and then they go off other places. And you know, there's some other artists that, like Snarky Puppy, kind of came out of the ranks of the college life here, and they started performing around, and now they're they're off doing stuff. We've just been graced by so many amazing musicians that were in Denton. And now I'm doing stuff out in L.A., in New York City, in Nashville, um, and all throughout the world. We have so many different places now, too, for live music to happen. That's what's the other cool thing about our festival is that, you know, there's, what, I don't know, 10, 15 different live music venues just, just around this block area. Denton is a great live music town. And we're getting, and, and I think with that, we're getting a richness in music that other towns don't have 
and also we're supporting musicians in a way that, that, that they really can't be supported in other areas. I just think that's so, that's so amazing that we're, we're getting to the point of expression and that when, when, when we're not afraid of it, we're really not afraid of what anyone thinks, you know? We don't feel like we're in competition with any other town because we're little, literally, we're, we are kind of the underdog when it comes to things. So we don't feel like we're in competition with Austin. We don't feel like we're in competition with big cities when it comes to festivals. We're our own thing. We're good. So from what I've learned, there are many reasons Denton has such a vast music scene. Three main reasons are that Denton has the number one music school in the country. In addition, music is highly encouraged and supported by the community. Also, musicians from Denton are respected worldwide. One thing is for sure though, Nashville has some competition for the title of Music City USA.